Hey everyone, it's me, Galaxy, and welcome back to the Horror Trash Podcast. We hope you enjoyed part one of our interview, and next we'll continue as producer Seth does his best Oprah impersonation and finishes our interview with Lyndon Porco. When meeting uh, Vern, did you, did you feel apprehensive that he may be a little kind of competitive, like this is my market, you can't kind of step in it? Did you? No, he. I mean, the way he, he, he reacted was he, he. I talked to him backstage, and then he immediately invited me up onto the stage with him. So for... For somebody to do that, um, it just means like it just means that they're not they're not competitive at all. They're they're wanting to include more and more people as well as little people. I think in this industry, and so um, that's why it's it's so sad to hear that he that he passed away. Um, and so he was he was the one that actually got me in the industry, and so I can't thank him enough for for including me in that. Yeah. That, that is amazing to hear that. Mm-hmm. You, you've also had that strain, I guess, of just people that have supported you and helped really push your career, even when it's going in a certain place. You mentioned uh, your relationship with Dr. Howard, mm-hmm. yeah. which I think is really beautiful. If you don't mind talking about on this podcast what he actually did for you on the project. Yeah, so uh, when I when I first met Raku, um, he, uh, he immediately was uh, super nice and genuine. And then we started working together, and he actually um, wanted me in more and more scenes with him um, in uh, Butcher's Block, uh, Channel Zero. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I would suggest it. Um, and so he, he kept on pushing to have me in, in more scenes with him. And that proved to me that he, he liked what I was doing, as well as he trusted me to, to, to be more involved in, in the show. Um, uh, and it it brought a I think it brought a, a definitely a different element into the show as well. And so for to, for him to support me right off the bat like that uh, truly meant a lot. Um, and again, he he uh, <laughs> he also has passed away, which is which was a huge. Uh, I de- when I found out about it, I, I I definitely had to take a moment and just re- re- recheck myself to make sure that you know remind myself what he did for me. Um, uh, I guess when it comes to the leprechaun, I, 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 I'm pretty easygoing when it comes to being on set, I, I, I would think, um, but then as soon as the, you know, the camera turns on, I, I'm, I'm going into a full-on monster mode, and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck some shit up. <laughs> um, but I, I definitely would like to try, um, one time some, a method acting. I think that would be really fun to, to do, um, but yeah, no, I think just having taking everything with a grain of salt in this industry is what I've come to terms with. Um, it's it's hard as a little person to, to get a, like a regular person role. Um, don't get me wrong, I love playing the monsters role, but at a certain time, you know, I gotta I gotta step out of that and and get into um, into playing a, a regular role. Like a doctor or a uh, a lawyer or, or something that you know anybody can play, um, and it's it, unfortunately in this industry they just have not been as uh, open for that yet, and so I, I plan to change that. That's, a, that's fantastic. So I do have a question that's kind of related to that. Is being in the industry, as you say, a little crazy? Have you faced any issues directly to where? I, I have. I've, I've not gotten a part because um, uh, they said <laughs> uh, they said I wasn't right for the part. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. So I know you did talk about being doctor, being a normal person, but in general, a part that you can play. There's something in the back of your mind. Do you want to be? I want. I want to be. I know exactly where you're going with this. Okay, okay. Um, I want to play, uh, I want to be part of the CIA, and I want to be like, kind of like what uh, The Rock and um, uh, Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart did with uh, Central Intelligence. Um, kind of like that, but having a little person be, do something in there and, and whatnot, and I mean, I can go in, I, I can actually fit an event pretty damn easily if you think about that, right? So, so is a comedy your genre of choice if you would go somewhere? Uh, I, I believe, and I and I want to do all types of of, uh, uh, of the industry, um, drama, comedy. Uh, I, I think having being able to 
go after those types of uh, different genres um, and being being in this industry for 16 years I feel like I I have um, the knowledge to, to, to do the different ones and I'm, I'm always eager to learn more and more ways to uh, to act as well as improve my uh, my ability slash uh, my performance yeah I had I worked uh, I did uh, I was selling hardware at, uh, at a store um, and I had to be on my feet all day and I had to pay like fifteen hundred dollars or no sorry twelve twelve hundred dollars for a pair of steel toed boots because I wasn't able to work unless I had them. Oh man. And so I was just like, Well fuck this. So you were I can I can sell with the can best of them I think. When did you finally take that plunge out of a daytime regular person job to uh I, I still like go into it uh, every now and then, especially if I need need the money and whatnot. Um, it just comes with the territory of being an actor, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but yeah, I've I've been mostly focusing on writing my own stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to write my own stuff, and so uh, I got uh, I, w I wrote uh, the the uh, short uh, midget, and then I also got another one that I'm writing right now. It's called uh, uh, Mafia. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of the M words. <laughs> well, I think I'm tapped for questions for right now. Um, I'm sure we could go ahead and ask you something later on. We'll yeah, sounds good. Questions. Yeah, absolutely. We'll Definitely. Yeah. And uh, you want to close this since your introduction was so good? Let's see you close it. Can I just do one more, one more thing? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, if, uh, follow me on uh, on uh, Linden Porco on Instagram and Twitter, and then on Facebook, it's the real Linden Porco. Perfect. Hey, you spell that. For people that don't know how to spell at all. L-I-N-D-E-N-P-O-R-C-O. Ooh, that O is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, close it. Next. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and watching. Um, stay tuned for any future things that we have, which are going to be real soon. And see you later.